Okay, folks, so in this lesson, we are going to look at how to transform this app that looks like this into an app that looks like this, all with the Google Chrome Developer Tools and the Elements panel. Okay, for most of this course, we're going to use this to do MVC app, and that's located right here to do MVC.com slash example slash vanilla JS. So to start off, I'm going to take a look at view developer, and I'm going to say view source. So this gives me the HTML that's located on the page. But the problem with this is it doesn't give us everything that we need to change and modify live web pages or even to run console commands or anything like that. So I'm going to close this off and go to view developer developer tools. Now that brings up this panel here and this is on every version of Google Chrome. You don't need a special version to get this. And this actually allows us to look at the different elements that are on the page and a whole mess of other things. So just so you know, this is a very beginner level course. I do have another course available on Udemy that goes through every single panel in extreme detail. But this is just to get you going with the basics. So I want to start off by looking over here and here you can see that there's several icons here for how you want to dock developer tools. So for most of this video, I'm probably going to have it docked to the bottom, but if you like it on the right or separate or separated like this, you can do that or you can put it on the left side or back to the bottom here. Okay. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at the elements panel. And what this means is this is the tree where all the HTML is found. And as I highlight over this stuff, it highlights the thing, the items that are actually on the top here. So what's really cool about this is I can right click and inspect an element and it'll put me right into the area of the tree where my HTML is. Then I can actually go in here and change this to, let's say Rocco's to do's. And look how ugly that is. Let's make that a little bit shorter or actually let's go ahead and change the styling of that. So this is an H1 here and we can click over here and change the style. So I'm going to say font dash size 10 PX and that made it really tiny. I don't even know where it went. So let's go 60 PX. So if I right click on Rocco's to do's and inspect it again, I notice that this thing is way too high here, so I can say margin dash top 50 PX. And that didn't do anything. Let's change it to 100 PX. Oh, there we go. So now that it's at 100 pixels, now this says Rocco's to do's and it's in a better spot. So what you can do is you can take these things and port them over into your actual code because when I click refresh here, this goes back to normal. Let's continue to style this page. So I want to make this bold. I go back and say font Wait, bold. And I want to change the color to blue. So now what's neat about the color is that I can click here and get a color picker. So let's say I want to grab another color that's on the page. I simply select this. And now I can apply black to this color. There's a bunch of other things in here. I can look at it on RGBA or I can use the sliders. Looks like I actually messed something up there. Let's go ahead and leave it like that. Now let's say I want to add a text shadow to this. I can go over here and I can say add text shadow. And this gives me a nice little editor to do this. So let's go ahead and add a text shadow. Let's set the blur. Now we have this Rocco's to do's that has sort of a 3D look. 
And this shows me what the actual code is that shows the text shadow. Now I'm going to inspect this little part over here. Let's say I don't like this in here. This little aside, I can actually hit the delete key and that actually makes it completely go away. And now it's no longer in the DOM of the web page. I can also change this placeholder text. I can say type your to do's. Then let's look at editing all four of these at once. So if I inspect this element, it's shown here and you can see that there's a rule here, info P. And when I highlight over this rule up at the top, all of the info P's get highlighted. So let's change the color of all of these. Let's change it to blue. So those are all changed as well. Now, as you can see right here, when I hover over this element, it puts an underline. But if I want to actually see that, I can click this little hover button and check hover. Actually, I need to select that element, inspect that. And we're going to add the hover state. And then it shows me the text decoration underline. And here's the CSS rule that actually shows that. So if I want to actually see where these rules came from, I can actually click this button here. And here are the rules. So there you have it. That's a quick intro to the elements panel.